Welcome back, everyone. It's Kirok here. Welcome back to another episode on the Blockshire Minecraft server. And guys, I've been a little busy offline. Um, as far as the gatehouse goes, we've added in, uh, completed uh, with the proper wood. Last time I was using like the wrong color wood and we've added in doors using the right wood. Uh, I think, believe it's spruce. These are just trap doors but they're to kind of like indicate a door that slams shut. And then the, oh my God, here we go. The port, porticulus will come down and slam down to trap people in here. Same on the other side. See, I did build it on this side. We have um, um, kind of a, a tapered uh, archway, but not quite. I ended up going with just straight blocks rather than stairs basically because i wanted it to be a little higher and you can you'll notice on the inside there's another arch that's tapered because a lot of the uh gatehouses that you see online show almost like a double layer and the port porticulus very cool the 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 that gate looking thing is usually ahead of the doors so even if let's say uh enemies bash this door down then uh, the guards in the tower would slam down the gates to hold them in place and they would be trapped. And then on the sides here, we're going to have uh, arrow slits and then on the top murder holes to kill them all. <laughs> so uh, you'll notice that they are going through the material up to the top on both sides. Come on up. And we, if we look from the inside, we can see I, I, I put these chains in just now to add a little touch. Uh, we can see that uh, the gates would be, let's go on the other side, kind of like suspended, open, in open position. And then there's a void there where the rest of the gate would be had it been, you know, fully retracted. Uh, and, and I made it so that it um, sticks out from the wall. So the rest of the wall, which follows this outline that I have here, is going to continue up. And that's what we're going to do today. We're going to build this up to its full height. Uh, but that on the face on the outside and that on the face on the inside are going to be kind of like just more like stone decor decorative, like a little little bit of a feature to the flat face. Um, so right now, my goal is to start laying down more brick and get to the next height or the next floor, uh, which is the height of that. Um, I do know that the floor I'm standing on will have a stone ceiling over top of the the uh, kill zone or the or the death trap with holes those holes are known as murder holes um and you can see i, I put this floor here to test some things out uh that's probably going to be replaced with wooden planks wooden floor planks um same on the other side and this is going to be open so that uh a guard up here when i say open they can walk right across to the next side and so on just like that uh, of course, there will be holes, so they got to be watch out they don't fall through them. I don't know. Maybe we'll make them like little, uh, little mounds. I don't know. We'll work it out. We'll figure it out. Um, but then the next floor that's up there, where that that dirt block is, I haven't decided yet if I want to keep the floor completely open. I might do it for the sake of space, or if I want to keep them separate. I think I'm going to keep them completely open because it'll it'll give me the ability to arrange like beds on one floor for the uh kind of like the uh barracks for the guards another floor with like a, a mess hall and uh something like that because uh, we only have that one floor then the top floor is the one that's for the portal and then the floor above that will be the actual battlements so i'm going to start laying down some brick uh, and i'm supposed to be going uh slowly up into up into um into some smooth stone brick. So I'm gonna start laying this down and then I'll bring you guys back once I've gotten a, a little bit of height on it.
<laughs> All right, welcome back, guys. So, I've been busy. There it is. Now, we have one more floor to go, which will be the top floor and encompass the, um, the portal. And then, of course, once we have that done, uh, we will be at the top level, the ceiling, which is kind of like, uh, you know, on top of the defensive towers uh, where the battlements will be. And then uh, we will eventually put on the machicolations, merlons, uh, embrasures and all that stuff. Uh, anyways, um, I built it up trying to follow the patterns and you can see here there's the doorway where the wall will come this way and then there's the doorway for the wall there too same thing on the other side i cannot tell you how much material go went for for building what i've done so far like a lot of material there's the other side right there so you got this this wall will come into that side of the tower um it's getting dark let's go sleep and then i'm going to show you a couple other things that i kind of got sidetracked on and i love it can't sleep yet there we go um so yes i did get sidetracked and i started spending time instead of building up the wall i started spending time on this check it out so i put in a drawbridge they are all trap doors um but, I, and I know you can make chains now. I learned that last time with Faze here. And then Nubish Dirt told me the recipe. Uh, you can make chains. And I want to put chains like like holding this drawbridge out. But you can't put chains on a diagonal, which really pisses me off. So I tried a different way to do it. It looked cool, but it wouldn't work. So I stopped. Check this out, though. Look at, look at this. Look at those chains right there. It looks like they're it's actually hanging off the chains. That's the kind of thing that I like, that little detail, that little touch. Whoopsie. See, it looks like it's coming through the, the, the actual stonework and hanging off the chains. And that little void right there is where the rest of it would be. The rest of this gate would go up and fill that void had it been uh, cranked up all the way. So when FaZe was here the last time, he said, hey, hey, if, if you have a castle, you got to have a drawbridge. And I was not at all in any way planning to put a drawbridge. Because generally a drawbridge will be over a moat. Uh, you know, something where you need a bridge in order to get across. And you can see that this bridge is laying right on flat ground. Well, what I'm going to end up having to do is actually drill through. Oops. And take away a good chunk of what's underneath this drawbridge to make it look like it's, you know, needed. But right now you're you're watching me do a too high can uh, channel from right under the drawbridge, right? No, no, no. We're not going to do that. Like like that an enemy can get past this no problem, right? No, 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 no. We're going to have to take the whole side of the mountain straight down and maybe even shave a bit of this mountain off away here and shave it off there and make it an actual, like the mountains are separate now, which means I got a lot of digging ahead of me for another day. Let's just put it this way. It's going to be for another day. Um, but that will make the drawbridge worthwhile. But then that raises another question because I was going to run a wall from here around and some towers all the way around that part of the mountain but because I'm going to actually have a drawbridge, there's really no need for the wall around this area unless I build the wall to protect any farmers and stuff like that. So what I may do is build a wall, but much smaller in comparison to the castle, something that is like half the size and completely independent from this Um so that there's still some value for putting something to protect my, my fields where my farms are, where my cattle's grown and all that stuff. So that's the plan as of now. It changed all with this drawbridge, but I love the way it looks. So thank you, FaZe, for the idea. I mean, I knew a castle gets a drawbridge, but in my design, I didn't even expect to put one. But that said, uh, we've got all these floors set up here. Drawbridge over a stream, river, or moat. 
Uh, but that's not going to be possible on this mountain because I can't move a stream up, can I? That's Chainmail in chat uh, telling me and, you know, giving me some, some hints and some details about history. He's really good. He's got accurate stuff about history. Um, I did reduce the size of the platform up here um, that had been put in by some of the other people on the server. Because last time when they came through my, through my portal, there was no platform and they almost fell to their deaths. So what I did oops, is I went on the other side, since I'm now actually building here, and I put a sign saying, uh, platform on the other side is smaller, watch step. This way, if somebody comes to visit, they don't run out expecting the, the bigger, wider platform that was there before and fall to their death. I should be friendly and put like a, like a fence here, but I, I think it's good enough. The warning's good enough. So we now need to bring this wall up one more floor, but we are at the same level. Let's see if I can jump it. Oh, God. I'm so hesitant. Oh, whew. Okay. We are at the same level as where that little protrusion occurs in the defensive towers. So this means that we are going to be starting one out and going all the way around the ring at one out. And then I'm going to make some scaffolding and put a stair upside down underneath that lip uh, to give it that same look as what you see on those defensive towers there and there. So everything is consistent and looks you know, all the way around and all the builds, everything looks right. Yeah, so this is coming along. I'm going to build the top part here, and then I'll bring you guys back and show you how it is. I think we're going to end at that point, and then probably on the next episode, I will be doing the machicolations, uh, merlons, embrasures, uh, crenellations, all the stuff of the battlements to make this uh, a really, really cool gatehouse. Of course, there's more to be done. The interior has to be done, but that is true for all my towers, which I think I'll do uh, as a second step once the towers are all erected and I have all the walls all around. So I'll see you guys in a few minutes. All right, welcome back, everybody. Um, so we reached the top. Doesn't it look amazing? I even went and put that little rim around you know, that area where it gets, you know, where it protrudes out. Kind of like what we did over there on the towers. And it fits. It looks great. It, it fits. It works. And it's one huge failure. Because I have to redo a lot of it. Now, somebody might say, what? Well, what do you mean, Kirok? This, this is looking so great. How can it be wrong? What's going on? I didn't realize until once we reached the very top that um, I had measured out the dirt layout at the bottom, just as I had done for the other towers there. And I had taken into account the fact that we went in and then come up and then went back out in order to make the spacing right for the actual merlons and embrasures. I think that's what they're called, merlons. Anyways, the little pokey bits that stick up the top and the little gaps in between. I didn't quite do that for this one. I went in by one, where there I went in by two. And then once the wall was built and I went out by one, I realized as I finished that last floor that I was not going to have something that was divisible by three all the way around the perimeter of the tower or the gatehouse. And and a really bad feeling of doom came over me because I I was like, oh no, oh no. Which means, I mean, I could fudge it. I could make the top... Whoa, easy, 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 easy. I can make the top part work. I can make it look right, but it will not be the same as what you see there. And so this whole circumference around here is not divisible by three. If I had, you know, three in the corner here, just like I did in the corner of that tower over there, then I had a three gap, one, two, three, and then three again, one, two, three. You'll notice I have a problem already. I'm supposed to have a three gap and then one, two, three, and it is way off. One, two, three. Yep. I f f screwed up. <laughs> so I spent a good while figuring out how to fix this without pulling down half the work I did. I mean, if it comes down to it and I have to, I will. 
Um, but it turns out I might be able to salvage anywhere from 45 to 55% of what I've laid down. It means I'm going to lose a lot of this cooked smooth stone and a lot of coal that I invested into it or charcoal, but whatever. If that's the case, that's the case. So I spent a little bit of time laying out what it should be so that it is divisible by three. And what you're looking at here is the lighter colored oak planks represent where the wall should be. And the darker color uh, oak, uh, darker color spruce planks represent the three uh, gaps, three, three gap, three, and so on. And this is because this is a, a, you know, the corner would be normally one, two, and three, but the inside corner should be one, two, and three. I haven't done an inside corner because all those other towers I've done look different. Have a different. They they don't have any inside corners, so this is going to be something we're going to figure out as we go. But then you see, I have one, two, three gap, one, two, three, one, two, three gap, one, two, three, and this works. But this means I got to pull down. I can leave the center wall, and my my main objective is to keep the center wall where I have the um, the opening of the gate way down below, as well as the center of this portal in the center of the building preserved and by doing it this way i'm preserving that uh, but this means that now uh, i should have a wall here that's the same length as this uh, which means it's going to be a lot longer and bigger which means that side's got to have to be torn down and brought out and i don't want to do that so i may be making these uh, four corner towers here wider and narrow meaning they're not squares they're rectangles and that's fine i might actually make this side like this i might actually make it where watch this we'll go out far i don't care how far we're just going to go out far i might actually make it where i have a one two three gap how is it actually it has to be a square oh man oh man <laughs> oh man One, two, three. I would have to do it like this. Either like this, with the wall continuing this way. So it's actually way smaller, almost too small, right? That's too small. Because this is all the space. Then I have to have this wall. Uh, yeah, this can't work because that wall that comes from that tower has got to meet up with this. That means that this is not possible. That means that has to be that way. This has to be this way. One, two, three. Gap of one, two, three, which is the same as this. So they are squares. The towers are squares. And I'm going to lose the inside part because this is going to be one, two, three gap. And then one, two, and and cross over. And I'm already encroaching upon that area, which means I got to tear this hole down, this hole, that whole side, and and move it. And that I'm not uh, no. So this is uh this is complicated things quite a lot, quite a lot. So right now. I'm going to end this uh, this video with, uh, as you can see, a huge failure on my hands. But this is what happens when you, you well, when you pick a big project, you plan it out, and you make a, a small miscalculation, and it becomes this massive uh, problem later on down the line. We'll get by it. We'll figure it out. We'll solve it. Uh, it's just, it, I'm really, really like, I'm, I'm going to end here and go cry a little bit. And then I might, I'll be refreshed and I should be able to figure it out. Fuck. <laughs> uh, anyways, guys, thank you for joining me on this week's episode. I really appreciate it. I'll have to play with this and play with it until I get something that works. Um... Yeah, I, and I'm probably going to do a good bulk of it offline until I got it fixed and, and rebuilt, and then I'll probably uh, show you guys again like uh, on another episode. Hey, look, uh, I fixed it. <laughs> yeah. 
anyways thank you again I shall see you all the next time um, uh, you know the next episode comes up <laughs> bye for now Right, he was saying, you know, if you're gonna have a gatehouse, you're gonna need a, a drawbridge. And I was not planning to put a drawbridge in. He's kind of opened my eyes a little bit, so now my brain is trying to think of how to incorporate a drawbridge, which I think I have an idea how to do. Let's sleep. But anyways, that's the short of it. That's the quick tour. Um, I'm not even close to being done. I still have to once once I have all the towers up, I have to wall up the entire circumference all the way around between these towers and buildings. And I still have to build...